Hello and welcome to Mock Productions. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back with another unboxing here. This one is very, very cool because it came out yesterday. And it's going to be a pretty cool one, believe me. It's going to go over the weekend. We're going to have Saturday and Sunday for both of these. There are three things in here, however, we'll have two days worth of them. You'll know why. So, it does say fragile on it. Interesting, because there's not really anything there too fragile. But um, I guess I don't really want dents on the tins. Oh, and here it all is. It's in here. Ra what am I doing? What am I doing? Yes, that is very clever there. We want to be opening this. And there it is. You can see it all here. Nice and bubble wrapped. I guess that's pretty cool. They did, they did decide to bubble wrap it up. Oh, look at these. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Solgaleo and Lunala tins. They are brand new out uh, from yesterday. But... Uh, yeah, this is this is awesome, awesome stuff. Very, very cool indeed. Um, wow, this is this is going to be the unboxing for these guys. If anyone is wondering, plus the title probably gives that away. But putting that off to the side, let's find out what we're doing in Sunday's episode. You might be able to see already who's in there. Excited for this one. This is to go with the, all the Pokemon Go stuff. Oh yes, look at this. Very, very cool indeed. We have the Kingdra EX box. Very, very cool. Includes the Kingdra EX there. A massive promo. And then we have four packs of cards here ranging from Steam Siege, Breakpoint. We've got Fates Clyde over there and Sun and Moon down there. Very, very cool indeed. Super, super awesome. I can't wait to open this one tomorrow. But for today, we're going to be focusing on actually opening the tins up instead of this. So this will come tomorrow. So make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow to get this open because I cannot wait to see what this is like in hand. Um, and Kingdra EX is from one of the previous sets. It's like a, a reprinted one. I think it's either Fates Glide or Steam Siege, one of the two. But that's pretty cool. <clears throat> so put that off to the side. Bring back in the tins. So yes, we're going to be opening these guys up today. This is going to be pretty cool indeed. These guys are going to be opened. And uh, yeah, we'll switch over to that now. And uh, the Kingdra one will carry on from tomorrow. So there we go. Let's bring it on. Let's go over to these tins. Okay, so we are here with the tins. And we're ready to open them both. I'm wondering which one to do first. I mean, I don't have any of these promos. And, but No, hold on. I don't have any of these actual GX cards between both of them. So, I mean, that's not really distinguishing anything. I think I'll go with Lunala first. I, um, I... <laughs> I don't know why, but I just want to go in Lunala. So we'll cut into this. And uh, we can open this tin up. And this is going to be a great way for me to store some cards. Because uh, I'm, I'm actually running out of uh, storage. Believe it or not, I'm, I'm running out of storage. But, opening this up. Nice tin. So we can open this up. And straight away you're greeted with that card there. Which is going straight in a sleeve, of course. So there, there is the card there, looking very, very cool. So that is very nice. Oh, that is awesome. It's the exact same move set as the actual GX for uh, Lunala. However, the picture and everything, completely different. But oh my gosh, is that just so cool? I honestly, I'm going to put it out there. I prefer this over the pre the actual GX. I like this one a lot. It's very, very cool indeed. So that's already pull number one. We've also got a card, which should give us that card in-game. So I'm going to hold on to that one. So out of all four of these packs, because I know there's four of them in there, we should get two Sun and Moons, which we do, and Evolutions, and a Breakthrough. So obviously we'll go from the last one and carry on. But uh, you'll get two of the four codes. I'll keep these Sun and Moon codes, because I want to keep using them on the online game. There will be an actual uh, video going out very soon with uh, a load of those codes um, being used on game and you'll see what I actually get. Because I haven't actually done it yet. No, you should just be able to take all this plastic out at some, you know, at some point and that will give you room. Now I could carry it, actually I could leave that in there and that will give it an extra bit of protection for all the bits that can go inside. Um, but that's going to be very useful indeed, having uh, these tins. And I might be even to make my own little uh, 
promo tins, but very cool indeed. Loving that tin a lot. That could even be a, a staple up there, at least for now. But we've got our four packs here. We're going to be opening both of these tins in this video, guys. So, ah, oh, here we go. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Breakthrough. What are we hoping for in Breakthrough? Ooh, um... Do you know what? A Houndoom. Let's put it out there. A Houndoom for any EX would just be super, super awesome. So spinning it round, there is the code there for you guys. Take it and run with it. So we go one, two, three. These codes and uh, these cards are actually nice and loose, which makes them very, very easy <coughs> to do our trick. So we got Judge, Pincer, Go Goat, we've got a Pan Sage, a Ralts, Scatterbug, Teddy Ursa, Goldine, Reverse Gio Giovanni Scheme, very, very cool card, and we have a Simi Sage. That is very, very cool. Don't have that rare there. And I love the monkey cards anyway, so I mean, that's a pretty good one. <clears throat> but a hollow there of Giovanni's scheme. Very, very cool indeed. Liking that a lot. So not, not really an EX or anything like that, but <clears throat> we still got plenty of packs to go. Evolutions here. I'll take a break. Uh, what would I else go for? Ooh, a secret rare, maybe? but we'll see what we get from here. <clears throat> oh, that's spoiling. That's just spoiling it there. So there's the code there. One, two, and three. That is three. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's see what we get in this one. Fingers crossed. We have an Energy Retrieval, Blastoid Spirit Link, Pidgeot Spirit Link, Ghastly, Charmander, Rattata, Caterpie, Magnemite, Reverse Electropus, and we have a Mewtwo EX. Okay, so that is not bad. That is definitely not bad. We've already got a Mewtwo EX, but I'll take a second one because if you, if we get four of them, that's that's a deck. That is definitely uh, a deck there. But Mewtwo EX, a very very cool pull. Hopefully that is not the end of the awesome pulls. We're on to Sun and Moon next, uh, which oh, <laughs> we're hoping, hoping maybe that we could get lucky with this. Let's not mix up all the packs just yet. <clears throat> Sun and Moon, we have an Incineroar on the front of it, so let's go with this and see what we can uh, get from here. So, bringing this around and let's just slide that off to the side there. Then we can spin it around and go one, two, three, and four because we don't want a fairy energy. Oh, thank goodness. Fighting energy Hoodia, Charger Bug, Poison Barb, Crab Roller. <laughs> don't know why I couldn't say that. Growlithe. Surskit, Formantis, Morlol, Reverse Incineral, very nice, and a Butterfree. Mmm, very nice. So nothing insane just yet, <clears throat> but we got one pack left of this tin. Now I've heard rumours that you are guaranteed to get at least one good pull. So, I mean, can we, can we maybe go for a, a double? Maybe. Let's just pull this card off to the side there, and then we'll go one, two, three, and four. Hoping not to be a fairy energy. <sighs> just breathe. Just breathe. It's not a fairy energy. That is, in fact, a uh, reverse water. <laughs> Golbat. Professor Kukui. Araquanid. Lilypup. Cosmog. Rowlet. Young Goose. Torkoal. Spinder and oh, very nice. And a Lowland Muck Hollow. Don't have this one, but I have it in reverse form, so I will definitely indeed take that one. Very nice indeed. We've had so many Alolan Grimers to get a Lowland Muck, is just up there. Very, very cool indeed. That is sweet indeed. I don't know how many reverse spinders I have. I actually don't know how many spinder cards I have. It's an insane amount, believe me. So. With that first tin down, what do I think of it so far? We're doing, I'd say we're doing pretty well. Um, reasonable, at least. <laughs> you know, to pull an EX and also a Hollow, which we need, is pretty cool. And some new rares and everything, being the the, uh, the Simi Sage. But apart from that, we'll crack on with this next tin once I have done clearing up. So, next one up here, let's go for it. Pop the knife in, don't destroy the tin. And then we can crack this open and get our second promo, being the Sulga Leo. <clears throat> Again, like I said, this is the first time 
all of these uh, promos have actually been gotten in the collection. We don't actually have these in GX form. They, they're they not really the ones I want to pull. There's definitely other GXs that I'd like to pull aside from these. But, I mean, if you're going to get them, you're going to get them. But a very cool one there. Again, same HP, same attacks. It's the exact same thing, just a reprinted character there. So, we've got our two pulls there. And we've got our four packs here. Again, we've got Breakthrough, Evolutions, and two Sun and Moons. <clears throat> and we can put the tin back together. And then, I love these tins. So cool. That can go up there. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go, obviously, again, in order of how they came out. Breakthrough again. Again, we could pull a break here. We could actually pull a break. Oh, a Remoraid. We could pull a break and maybe something else. So we're going to spin this around because that will give us what we got. There is the code there. Let me know what you got. And we're going to go one, two, and three. Bring them to the front. Spin it around. And we're ready to go with a Parallel City, Gramble, Haunter, Remoraid, Spritzy, Cyndaquil, Hoot Hoot, Mistrevious, Reverse Cacturn, and a Simi Seer, which we already got, but I think we might have it in a hollow, a uh, reverse hollow. But that's not that's not bad. That's not bad. Two monkeys in two packs. There's the cacturn, can go up there. That is not bad indeed. Very, very cool. Nothing major though from breakthrough. Maybe we can pull another evolution special here, or maybe leave it for a double in the uh, the last two packs of so spinning this round. There's our code there for evolutions. Take it and run with it. We got one, two, and three cards. Bring them there, spin them around. We're ready to go. Starting off, double colorless energy, the evolution spray, Metapod, Metal Energy, Growlithe, Ghastly, Charmander, Ratata. Bonus points for that one. And a far fetched. This is going in a sleeve. This is the second one of these I have pulled. That is uh, definitely worth going in there straight off. That can be worth quite a bit. So, are we looking for maybe something insane in these packs? I'd, I'd hope so. So, let's pull that off to the side, spin this around. Got one, two, three, and four. Hoping not to be another fairy energy. Oh, whoo! One shade lighter. <laughs> Spinder again, Araquanid, Rare Candy, Young Goose, Shelda, Zubat, Poplio, Stuffle, Reverse Wishy Washy, and another Butterfree. Come on, sit down. Okay, that that's um That's different, that's different. Last pack, come on. Come on, Incineroar, you can do it. Pull through with something insane for us, please. Pull that off to the side. We can go one, two, three, and four. Bring them to the front, spin it around, starting off with a lovely water energy. Pukamuko, Rotom Dex, Persimian, Litten, Stuffle, Eevee, Dupider, whoa, Poliwag, Reverse Ultra Ball, and a Cloyster. Okay, Ultra Ball going up there. So nothing majorly insane in the, those uh, last few packs there, but we did get that Charizard Reverse Hollow, which a lot of people have still been looking for, and I've got two. <laughs> but it's it's an it's an awesome card. I mean, it really is just such an awesome card indeed. Very very cool indeed. Very happy with those two tins. You know, we've got that Mewtwo EX, we've got our Hollow Alola Muck, and our Reverse Charizard. Plus, what did we get in terms of these reverses? Did we get any good rares? An Ultra Ball, don't know whether that's worth pretty much. Lantern, that's just that one. That one's fine. That is a reverse rare. That isn't, and that isn't. So we got one reverse rare, being the Incineroar. So, I mean, that is not bad indeed. I'm obviously that reverse Ultra Ball there, but uh, I'm, I'm happy with these two tins. Very, very cool. Who knows, I might grab some tins, maybe, if these guys... I know they've just come out, but, you know, if some of them go on clearance, older ones might get them, see what you get, because you are guaranteed to get something, uh, whether it just be a hollow, whether it be an EX, whether it be a full art, who knows, whether it be a super hyper rare, rainbow rare, <laughs> just have to uh, wait and see, but very, very cool stuff, so if you have enjoyed this unboxing, and, yeah, this unboxing, yeah, <laughs> Uh, then uh, make sure to stick around, subscribe, and also comment down below. 
uh, which tins you'd like to see from some of the other uh, Sun and Moon Pokemon. We've got Lunala and we've got Solgaleo now, but which ones I'd like to see maybe an, um, an, execu uh, an Executor? Executor? That's it, yeah. The Alolan version of that, that'd be pretty cool. Maybe some Alolan version tins, they would be pretty insane indeed. But very, very cool pulls there, and I'm ex extremely excited to open some more bits and bobs and see what we can pull. But aside from that, I'll leave it here, and I'll see you guys in the next video.